Television sets became popular in America in about the late 1940s, pretty much replacing the stereo that sat in the family room. Uh, the television would be a place where families would gather around, much like today. We'd watch news, sports, and of course everyone's favorite sitcom or drama on television. We're all familiar with the phrases must-see TV or TGIF. Each of these were appointment television, and we wanted to be there to see our favorite television shows. But what happens when a television show starts to lose its spark? What happens when the writing kind of takes a dive or maybe a new character is introduced that isn't really going off too well? For a television show to be successful, all of the ingredients have to work together really well. You have to have really good writing and really great storytelling. You have to have a director who has a good vision. And you have to have an actor, or actors of course, that make it pop on the screen, that really deliver the lines and can show the emotion. But even when all of that falls into place, even when the writing is good, the directing is good, and the acting is out of this world, sometimes shows just don't last but one or two seasons. Shows like Smash or Pushing Daisies or Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip all took that fate. Sometimes when new characters are introduced or new love interests, or the story just takes a complete left turn, it's referred to as Jumping the Shark. Jumping the Shark comes from the fifth season of Happy Days, the episode one, two, and three, the three-show arc entitled Hollywood. It all starts with two movie execs who are driving through Milwaukee in their limousine, and their car breaks down. So they get out, and of course... They meet Fonzie and the gang, and they're enamored with Fonzie. They love his look, from his hair all the way, of course, to his famous leather jacket, and they look at him and think, this guy's going to be the next James Dean. So the movie execs invite Fonzie out to Hollywood for a screen test, and in tow, Fonzie takes with him uh, Richie and Ralph Mouth and Potsy and, of course, Mr. and Mrs. Cunningham. While there, Fonzie runs into the California Kid, Kind of the local tough guy, the Fonzie of that area, if you will. And of course, they start to have beef almost immediately. And to settle that beef, the California kid challenges Fonzie to a skiing contest. But not just any skiing contest, he wants Fonzie to jump over a tiger shark. And of course, Fonzie never backs down from a challenge. So he accepts, and he agrees, to jump the tiger shark. So, he dons a pair of skis, and of course, his really cool leather jacket, and Richie drives a speedboat in the ocean to where Fonzie's going to jump over a tiger shark. The music is intense. The camera goes from the shark to Fonzie to Mr. and Mrs. Cunningham to Richie driving the speedboat. But the thing is, saying that this was a downward spiral for Happy Days is a real misnomer. Happy Days ran for a total of 255 episodes over 11 seasons. It ran for six seasons after this Jump the Shark incident. Happy Days was so popular, in fact, it had a few spinoffs. It had Laverne and Shirley. It had Mork and Mindy. And it had uh, Joni Loves Chachi. Other shows, of course, have had Jump the Shark moments. One of the most famous was The Brady Bunch, when Cousin Oliver joined the cast. Uh, the Cosby Show, when Olivia joined. Anytime you kind of have a cute kid joining the cast, uh, where the writers are wanting to kind of bring in a younger, younger child for the jokes and the laughs, because the kids on the show have gotten older, the show's kind of going downhill. 
and one of the most tragic jump the shark moments would have been Seinfeld. Now, Seinfeld didn't jump the shark to the final episode, but man, was that final episode terrible. It's a good thing they quit while they did. So that is the history of the phrase, jump the shark. Don't forget to check us out on our History Dweebs YouTube channel, as well as History Dweebs on TikTok. And of course, our flagship podcast, History Dweebs, can be found wherever you get podcasts. Check it out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere else where you listen. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.